Hi. Um, I wanted to teach you quickly a short video on Sabori Silk Dyeing. You need yourself a coffee can with a lid if you can. I guess you could use a jar, however, um, I did not. Get yourself some silk, 100%. Try to pick a neutral color, like if you did a black top, I don't, I don't know how that would work with dye, all right? And the idea is to be able to wrap your silk around. And notice how this overlaps, so you can change it up or trim it. But I did it this way and um, made it so it just fit on the, on the thing. And then you'll wrap string around. You'll tie a knot. And then you wrap string around all the way. And when you get to the top, you, you bring it all down. And then you keep wrapping, pull it down, keep wrapping until you get through all of the silk, okay? So now your silk is within here, and it's got the string all the way around it to hold it, and it makes kind of a ripple effect in your, in your quilt, or in your um, silk. Take yourself some dye. I bought three, a uh, lemon yellow, a wine, and an indigo bought this indigo. These are about four dollars a bottle. And then you take your paint and you start painting any way you want. You could do all one color this way and another and another. Or you could make all one color this way and then one this way, whatever. It's completely up to you. And once you get um, that all painted. Oh, FYI, after your silk is all wrapped and tied, put the end of your string after you trim it inside, and that will hold your silk that's wrapped, okay, all the way around, right? That's why the lid. So <clears throat> you let that dry for 24 hours, and then you rinse it uh, if you, if you want with some soap, uh, gentle soap. I just ran mine through um, running water. And then I let it dry and it came out just as silky as this top was before it was kind of stiff. So um, now Turtle Soup Beads, a lady who does polymer clay jewelry, first showed me this technique on one of her videos. And she made these beautiful um, necklaces. You have to go check her out on YouTube. Uh, I, so I give her all the credit for uh, this silk. <clears throat> anyway, I put mine on a quilt. I'm making a crazy quilt. And for some reason this theme just started taking over into a ocean theme or water theme. And I put the, the Sabori silk here and I left it kind of poofy. And then on this one, this piece here, it's more, you know, flattened with beads. But I thought it turned out really nice. So, um, it was my ocean theme. So this is a crazy quilt I'm working on. But yeah, yeah I mean, you can put it on all kinds of stuff. I would imagine a beautiful purse done this way with beads. And yeah, that'd be pretty. Um a vest or a jacket how pretty would that be so let your imagination run wild and if you do this technique gosh share your uh, uh, share your video or whatever you can and uh, send me a link and I'll share it myself but I'd love to see that you try it so um, let your imagination run wild okay but don't spend a lot of money on this silk stuff you can buy it at Goodwill for very cheap or thrift store and uh, or look through your mom's or your grandma's old uh, closet you know they're through their closet for old clothes <laughs> so have fun thank you for watching see you then